Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is June 27th, 2024, and Deco has traveled to Portugal in order to deal with the transfer of Mika Fai. Also, Ferran Torres has made it very clear he does not want to leave during this summer transfer market. And finally, Ansu Fati has ruled out a move to Saudi Arabia. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and I'm bringing you this super duper uber late video because today I actually got invited to the your way versus Bolivia match really cool match your way won by five to zero and also I got to see Ronald Araujo play for your way I had never seen him play for his national team of course I've seen him play for Barcelona so pretty cool experience I just got home I wanted to go to bed, but I decided that I couldn't go to bed until I brought you the latest news because there was a lot of news coming out of Camp Barca today, as per usual. Now, having said all that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. If you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag. If you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure you hit the bet us. Both links for kit bag and bet us are down below in the description. Now, I'll begin with the video that Deco traveled to Portugal today in order to discuss the Mika Fai transfer. And as you know, Mika Fai has agreed to make a move from Barcelona to Porto. His agent was in Portugal. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, in order to finalize the agreement of Mika Fai moving to Barcelona. And where Barcelona were expecting that Porto would pay them 15 million euros for Mika Fai, the call never came to finalize the transfer because Porto have some economic difficulties, which is making it very difficult for them to sign the 19-year-old Senegalese defender. Now, as such, Deco traveled to Porto in order to discuss with the club on what uh, the transfer of Mika Fai. And it's been revealed that Porto can only pay 5 million euros for Mika Fai, even though Barcelona and Porto had agreed on 15 million euros. So Porto are now telling Barcelona they can only pay a third of what they agreed on, which is to me, is absolutely nuts. Because for 5 million euros, I wouldn't even sell them Mika Fai's signed jersey, let alone the player himself. And hopefully, Barcelona will be stern about this and say, look, stop joking around. Yeah, they'll give us 15 million or you're not getting the player. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen because as we know, Barcelona's stance has been very clear. You either give us 15 million or we keep the player, which is what Barcelona have wanted from the beginning. Barcelona have always wanted to keep Mika Fai. It's Mika Fai who insisted on leaving because he wanted guarantees of first team spot. Of course, Barcelona could not offer that. They only offered him to participate through the preseason and see if Hansi Flick selects him or not. But he wanted more guarantees and this is why he agreed to go to Porto. But now it seems that Porto cannot pay up because they are having financial problems anyway speaking of players leaving today Ferran Torres made it very clear in an interview that he did he is not leaving Barcelona during this summer transfer market and this is what the Barcelona attacker said I will continue at Barca next season it's not that I want to stay it's that I am going to stay I am very calm I will continue at Barca next year they can save the ink and change my name for someone else's. So Ferran Torres making it very clear that it's not whether he wants to stay or not. It's that he's going to stay. So saying, look, I'm staying. I don't care what you write about me. I don't care what offers come for me. I'm staying 100%. Which, of course, that's a problem for Barcelona. Because as I've said many, many times many times before, even under the 1-on-1 -on rule, Barcelona still needs cash to sign players. The 1-on-1 -on -one rule only says that any money you make, you can spend on new signings, but Barcelona still need to make money. They still need to sell players in order to spend that money on signing new ones. Of course, there are very few players that Barcelona could offload. One of them is Ferran Torres, which Barcelona have been trying to offload since last summer. But it seems that Ferran is insisting he is not leaving 
which again, that creates a problem for Barcelona because Barcelona needs to sell players in order to sign new ones. Now, as I said in a podcast a few days ago, I think it was last week, I'm very glad that Ferran Torres went through this phase where he worked with a therapist in order to increase his confidence, his mental strength. But I think at this point, his crossing from being confident to delusional, because according to him and his agent, he's one of the most important players on the squad. He's the second highest scorer, which again, it's good that he's confident, but there's a difference between confidence and delusion. Anyways, let's move on to the next news since we are talking about attackers because we do have to talk about Ansu Fati, who has ruled out a move to Saudi Arabia. Now, Ansu Fati will be coming back to Barcelona from Brighton where he failed to make an impression and therefore Brighton will not be activating his option to buy. Of course, Barcelona have are not counting on Safati and would rather offload him this summer and make some money off his transfer. And one of the leagues that were very interested in Ansu Fati were Saudi Arabia. But now it's being reported that Ansu Fati has made it very clear he does not want to go to Saudi Arabia. He believes that he is too young to be going to Saudi. And I think I do agree with the player. I think Saudi Arabia is a good league to head to once you're old enough or once you're older. Once you've played in Europe, your career is over, it's good to go there, retire, make some money. But for a player who's 21, 22 years old, I think it's too young for him. Now, Ansu Fati wants to participate in a preseason. He wants to see if he can convince Hansi Flick. But despite that, you know, Barcelona will still be listening to offers. They prefer to offload him, whether it be on loan or on a permanent transfer. Of course, Ansu Fati's agent, Jorge Mendes, will be key in this whole operation on both finding a new club and convincing Ansu Fati to move to a new club. We'll see what will happen, but most likely Ansu Fati will end up leaving because, again, Barcelona are not counting on him. And, of course, Ansu Fati is not the kind of player that will be putting obstacles and say, I'm not leaving like Ferran Torres just did today. Anyways, that is all the news for this video. I uploaded a video earlier today. It was about 20, 30 minutes ago. Lots of good news in that video, so make sure to check it out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. And as always, peace, Carlos.